sign my life away and didn't realize what I was signing. Now on 9, turning to solar panels to go green left a woman seeing red. She told Action 9 she paid more than $80,000 to get those panels. But she says her power bills really don't show the savings that she expected. She told Action 9's Jason Stujinki that this experience hmm. has taken a real toll on her. We all want to save on this, of course. Electricity and solar can be a very good way to do that. But a Hickory woman told me she wishes she had given it more thought when a salesman came to her door. North Carolina has so many sunny days like this. Shirley, whose last name we're not using, said yes to solar panels. What's the total bill? 82000 That's right. She said $82,000. She told me she was willing to spend that because the salesman promised her big savings on her power bills. He sold us on the idea. Because but she says the bill for her first full month of solar was $135. Not that much different than her bills before solar, 145, 133, 181, and 201. I was terrified. Shirley says she called the business Top Tier Solar Solutions, but got the runaround. I emailed the company, which told me there's no problem whatsoever with her system. It is working exactly as expected and designed. So I asked if there's no problem, why is Shirley's latest bill about the same as her previous ones? Top Tier responded that her system is based on a full year's worth of production, so she won't see real savings until summer when there are longer days with more sun. The company also said she's using more energy than last year. I signed my life away and didn't realize what I was signing. She emailed me yes, top tier promise to work with her, but that she still hopes her story helped prevent other senior citizens from being put in the position I now find myself in. And that's a good segue to this. If you're considering going solar with any company, do three things for me. Number one, shop around. Don't let salespeople pressure you. Number two, read the contract, especially what happens if you don't see the savings you expect. And number three, check with your tax pro to make sure you'll get the tax breaks you anticipate. In North Charlotte, Jason Stujanki, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. And new numbers out this week show just how popular solar is in the Tar Heel State. The Solar Energy Industries Association says North Carolina added 115% of solar capacity last year. Now that refers to the amount of electricity the system can produce. Nearly 10% of North Carolina's electricity now comes from solar, enough, they say, to power more than a million homes.